Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China recently. In the world of AI, another thrilling global competition is unfolding. But the battle is not fought over silicon or lines of code. It is a battle for something far more precious, and that is human talent. Countries around the world are racing to attract and retain the most brilliant minds in artificial intelligence. A think tank called Macro Polo conducted a study called the Global AI Talent Tracker 2.0. One of the key takeaways from the study is that China has experienced a surge in its domestic AI talent pool. China now accounts for 47% of the world's top AI researchers. That is a jump from 29% in just three years. In addition, between 2019 and 2022, Chinese institutions have made significant progress and experienced a rapid climb in the global rankings. In 2022, six Chinese institutions entered the top 25, compared to only two in 2019. Notably, Tsinghua University and Peking University secured third and sixth place, respectively, in 2022. Not only has China cultivated a vast domestic talent pool, but it has also become a significant exporter of AI expertise, particularly to the United States, where Chinese researchers now constitute 38% of the AI workforce. However, considering the political headwind in the US and the sensitivity of AI research, this situation might change in the future. Currently, over 51% of Chinese AI undergraduates choose to pursue graduate studies within their home country, and nearly 31% decide to stay in China for work after completing their higher education. Interestingly, this pattern of reduced mobility among top-tier AI researchers is not happening only in China. The report revealed a broader trend, with only 42% of the world's elite AI talent working not in their own countries in 2022, down from 55% in 2019. The United States, though, remained a magnet for AI talent, with American and Chinese researchers together constituting 75% of the top AI talent pool in US institutions. Despite the international competition, the US continues to be the home to 60% of the world's premier AI institutions. While China and the United States dominate the global AI talent landscape, the report shows that other countries are making significant strides. The United Kingdom, South Korea and continental Europe are emerging as attractive destinations for top AI researchers. Conversely, India and Canada have experienced relative declines in their rankings as countries of origin for top-tier AI talent. The ability to attract and retain the world's brightest mind in this field will undoubtedly shape the future of technology, geopolitics and economic competitiveness. The stakes have never been higher. Apart from AI, another field of technology with fierce global competition is renewable energy. Over the past two decades, China has undergone a remarkable transformation in wind energy. Its installed wind power capacity has soared from just 4 gigawatts in 2007 to an astonishing 329 gigawatts by 2021, a 31% annual growth rate. In addition to output, Chinese turbine manufacturers also lead in product design and innovation. In the last four years, 426 new Chinese turbine models have been released, versus just 29 new turbines outside of China, according to consultancy Wood Mackenzie. A key driver behind China's wind power surge has been the plummeting cost of turbine installation. Recent tender pricing documents for a massive 9.1 million kilowatts wind project in Inner Mongolia's Gobi Desert revealed that the lowest bid came in at just 2.15 yuan, that is around 0.28 US dollars per watt of installed capacity. This marks a 45% drop from last year. 
Well, in 2021, the average installed cost of wind projects in the United States was $1.5 per watt. That is over five times higher than the rock-bottom Chinese prices. Despite recent decline, the 2022 US average of $1.37 per watt is still multiples above China's. The price reduction is largely due to technological breakthroughs and significant economic of scale, particularly in projects span across across the Gobi Desert. This extreme cost competitiveness solidifies China's position as the undistributed global leader in green energy. According to analysts, if it is possible to ensure safety operations at these extremely low prices, wind power projects in China's three northern regions, which contains more than 90% of the country's wind resources, could double soon. The lower costs are transforming China's energy landscape and its economic model for renewable energy. These developments are pivotal not only for meeting domestic energy demands, but also for exportation. How about giving Confucius a psychological test? What is MBTI? Researchers at Peking University and Xiaoying AI Lab have made a breakthrough in historical psychology. By combining psychologists' expertise with AI's computational power, they have developed an artificial intelligence that can extract psychological insights from classical Chinese texts dating back thousands of years. It is called Contextualized Construct Representation (CCR). By leveraging transformer-based language models similar to GPT-4, CCR analyzes classical Chinese corpora and decodes the psychological constructs embedded within them. Imagine reading an old diary. It contains the writer's thoughts and experiences from many years ago. From what they wrote, you can get a gist of their personalities, beliefs, and emotions. Well, in the same fashion, researchers analyze historical texts to get a deeper understanding of people's psychology in the past. By studying classical Chinese texts, which were instrumental in shaping Chinese thoughts, ethics, and governance, researchers can explore the origin of contemporary psychological processes. To analyze the text more efficiently, the scientists use CCR and surveys to measure psychological traits, which includes traditionalism, norm strengths that measures the extent to which one adheres to societal rules and expectations, and collectivism in classical Chinese texts. Here, the researchers face challenges because most psychological questionnaires are in English, while the historical texts they analyze are in classical Chinese. So they developed a method to convert the English questionnaires into meaningful classical Chinese sentences using a multilingual model. They also created a Chinese historical psychology corpus, which is a collection of historical texts specifically for studying psychology. This corpus helps to train and fine-tune language models to better understand and present classical Chinese texts related to psychology. So, how accurate is CCR? They also verified the reliability of the CCR method on real historical texts annotated by humans. For example, by measuring the traditionalism psychological index scores in the articles written by different officials during the Northern Song Dynasty, they could effectively infer whether the officials supported or opposed the reforms of Wang Anxi's new policies. There's no doubt that this technology will open new avenues for hypothesis testing and theory development in the field of social science. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science and technology in China. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts. <laughs>